Hello everyone and welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host, Stan Rutan, and this is a blue collar wine show where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. We just get done with Thanksgiving and Christmas. People have had birthdays in December. You know, yeah, money, you know, is not as easy to come by as it used to be. And now we're going into the new year, 2023, and people are going to be wanting to buy sparkling wine to bring in the new year. In fact, in, this, in my department, that's one of the number one questions I get asked in any holiday is what is a good sparkling wine because a lot of people don't know about it and that's because a lot of people don't buy it until there's a special occasion i think sparkling wine should be drunk all the time it's like it's great with fried chicken with oysters many things that sparkling wine is good with and so you know like rosé i promote sparkling wine year round and i'm very fortunate to have many customers who drink a lot of sparkling wine year round it's very cool i love it and so we're going to now look at three possibilities all under 25 bucks which is kind of exciting save yourself a little bit of money number one selling uh, I think champagne not champagne sparkling wine excuse me <laughs> they put champagne on their label I believe but the number one sparkling wine sold in the United States I believe is Cook's and you know it's, you'll see it stacked in big uh, grocery stores big end displays of it and why buy Cook's when you can get yourself a nice cava that's less money I promote the crap out of this wine this is de bone cava by Bodega Pinard, and it uh, out of Barcelona. It rolls in at ten bucks, and I sell a lot of this wine because I promote it. I think it's a great value. It's got many awards for being one of the better sparkling wines in the value category. De Bone Cava, ten dollars. All right, let's see what's going on here. So you know, fairly frothy mousse, mousse there. So the main grapes of uh, Cava are Perilada, Zarello, and Macabeo. They're very not traditional champagne grapes, which are, you know, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Manuet. But uh, they do it Method Chapinois in Cava, which is amazing, for 10 bucks, guys. That's crazy. Let's see what we get on those. It's going to be hard with this little glass, but we'll see what we get. I get pear and apple right off the bat, immediately. Very clean on the nose. Let's see what we get on the palate. Nice um, apple, uh, Asian pear. The bubbles are a little bit, you know, foamy, but not terrible. I mean, they're, they're actually not overpowering the bubbles. They don't foam up in your mouth. Um, and I get a little bit of a, a toastiness, a little bit of a yeastiness there, which is very interesting. I mean, this is a tan in the delicious category. It's easy to drink. It has good bubbles. And, you know, it's just got that kind of pear, apple thing going on with a little bit of, just a kiss of yeast and a little bit of uh, toast. For $10, it's a solid, very fresh cava, sparkling wine from the east coast of Spain. And uh, just really nice dry finish, good acidity, not, you know, not, it doesn't, it isn't linear, it doesn't cut your tongue, but that's okay. It's just delicious, and it's dry, and it's fresh, and it's clean, and I like it very much. For 10 bucks, I'm going to go straight up B. For somebody who just wants to celebrate the new year, you know, give a toast, have a bottle of kava. This is a, I would pick this any day over... Corbell or Cooks, but if you like Cooks or Corbell, knock yourself out. Ten bucks, guys. This is a great value. Straight up B. Let's move on. All right, this is exciting. This is from Lemieux, which they do quite a bit of in Southwest France. They do quite a bit of. Oh, look at that tough cork, long cork, no less. Woo! That gave me a workout. Okay, so this is a Antache uh, a Lemieux, uh, Blanquette de Lemieux, which is a region in southwest France. And it's made from a grape called Mozac. Mozac. It's a 2016, so it's vintage. And it rolls in at $23. Now, Mozac is an interesting grape. It's a late ripening grape, so it has to be in a warm climate. Yet, yet, 
it has high acidity levels. So in Lemieux, where they make it, it, it has to make up at least 90% of the blend. And then they might put some Chardonnay or Chenin Blanc in with it. So this is a $23, a little Michael Jordan thing coming out. 23 bucks going into 23. There you go. Like you give a rip, right? So Mosaic's a grape. And let's see what we get on the nose. Hmm. Almost like a slight orange peel component coming through. A little bit of a um, slight Asian pear. A bit of almond as well. Let's see what we get on the pound. That's a you know, pretty little golden in color. Ooh, this is very interesting. Now, some people might not like this flavor profile. I like it. Very unusual. There's kind of a combination of almond, orange peel, and pear. And it's real interesting. Very, now talk about acidity. This, this, has, this almost puckers your mouth, but not over the top. It's very balanced. I like that. That's it. It has some leaves contact, so you get a little bit of that um, uh, yeastiness that comes through from the leaves. With the uh, pear, a little bit of that orange peel, the almond. Yeah, this is a, this kind of grows on you really fast, really fast. The initial attack was kind of, whoa, but I like it. Nice smaller bubbles. Good, good complexity. Nice acidity, finishes very dry, fresh, but on the initial attack in the front of the palate, you get that kind of almond pear, little hint of orange peel coming through with that yeasty component in there, kind of all blended together in a nice way. Very, uh, everything's nicely integrated and it's complex at the same time. If you want a little bit more going on with your bubbles, for 23 bucks, I think this uh, Blanquette de Lemieux from Antesh. 2016 is stellar. I like it. Very, very interesting wine. Now this would be really good with fried chicken. Just happen to be having some fried chicken. I would go with this one. Long finish too. I'm going to go straight up A. I think that's a solid sparkling wine. It's very well made. Good balance. Nice complexity. And a long finish with good acidity. That was everything you're asking for in a sparkling wine. Right up, babe. All right, let's move on. This has always been one of my favorite sparkling wines. My wife and I really enjoy this, uh, so I'm gonna share it with you. This is the uh, Graham Beck Brut Method Cap Classique, so Method Chef and Wine. This is a uh, Brut Sparkling Wine, 55% Chardonnay, 45% Pinot Noir, and it rolls in at $20 unless you're lucky enough to be around a store that's running it a little bit less than that. Just saying. If you're on the island, same island, I know a store that has it on sale for New Year's. I was in South Africa in 2018, love that country, very nice people. Um, Graham Beck used to do more than sparkling wine now, I believe that's all they do now is sparkling wine. So, nice color, golden, light golden straw. Let's see what we get on the nose. This is definitely has toast on the nose, big time. Toast and pear, which is, seems to be a common thread with these. Some apple notes, a little bit of almond as well. Getting interesting, an interesting little kind of citrus note that's hiding underneath. Let's see what we get on the palate. So 20 bucks, Method Chef and Wah. Now 
nice finer bubbles. Very linear. I love this. See, one of the things I like in champagne or sparkling wine is to have that acidity. Like I said, the Debon doesn't have as much, but it's very delicious, so that's okay. This, though, has a, a citrus finish. It's kind of cutting across your palate. This rhyme reminds me a lot of a classic uh, champagne. I know some champagnes that don't deliver as well as this one does. Nice kind of lemon citrus notes on the palate. Very balanced. A little bit of pear coming through as well. A little bit of that kind of brioche, uh, that toastiness. But this is just a beauty. I mean, really cuts across the palate. Really shines. Nice and fresh. Good complexity. Just a hint, just a hint of almond right on the top of the mid palate, but it has a just a nice clean citrus pear apple finish. Very, you know, makes your mouth water. You know, that's what I that's what I like uh, sparkling wine. I like this one for its interesting flavor profile and its long finish. And of course, Debon's price delivers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Grand back though. I've turned a lot of people onto this uh, sparkling wine, and I hope you at some point get a chance to give it a try. It is just an amazing wine. I'm going to go AA plus on this wine. I just think for $20, it delivers a boatload of quality. Just saying. So I hope you guys have a great new year. I appreciate this year. I've grown in f uh, subscribers quite a bit this year. I really appreciate it. I want to shout out to Jim Purdy. I just noticed he subscribed. He's one of the customers that comes into the store fairly often. You know, thank you, Jim, for subscribing. It means a lot to me. And for other subscribers, I'll do more shout outs when I get a chance. I didn't get a chance to see some of the new subscribers. I've had some great comments. Somebody gave me a nice tip on how to promote my, my videos. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Like I said, once again, thank you for all your support this year. I'm looking forward to 2023. As I say, the year of Michael Jordan. You keep watching. And I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars wisely.